Hello and welcome to World of Warcraft here on the Grey Man Gaming Channel. We're at a large Lunker sighting right here at the Ruby Life Pools looking for gold coins. Now this is one of the easier ways to get a gold coin. What you're going to need for the auto secret quest or mount quest. And it's Christmas Day. What better way to treat yourself than to get yourself a brand new mount. Let's do it. So we're, we're going to search a group. We have one. They require a harpoon. Now, if you don't have a harpoon, you can go to Iskara and you can search for uh, three parts um, and you can turn it in and they'll craft you a harpoon there. Or you can buy harpoons on the uh, auction house. Um, so I did the farm here hoping to get a gold coin. Uh, I did not get a gold coin here, but as you can see, there's plenty of high level uh, you know, high level monsters uh, and NPCs here that you can uh, sit here and farm. And I just got a, uh, an achievement. Um, that you can sit here and farm and you can get some really good stuff uh, for your character, for money, for gold if you want to farm gold and other stuff like that. So it is a good farm if you, want, if you need the gold coin uh, and you also want to make some gold and get some nice pieces of gear uh like along with this huge toad was a really good i think it drops a customization for me for my uh my dragon ride it does in a second you'll see that it's, of course this re uh, was recorded before i i did the voiceover but uh yes yeah, so there we have the the dragon customization so you get some really neat stuff from here but i alas did not get my gold coin from here uh, i did it right here from just regular old fishing. Uh, you can either collect 75 coppers uh, to create five silver coins and then you can turn in five silver coins and buy a gold coin. I found it quicker to just farm uh, and fish for the gold coin. And I got that, I don't know, uh, within an hour or two. Uh, it all depends on, you know, on the RNG of course. So now we're here, uh, we're gonna turn in our gold coin to Swag right up here. Uh, it's right above the Fork River Crossing. You'll see it right next to the flag for the uh, for the timekeeper for your flight trials. And we're going to go into this cave over here and visit Swag himself, where we're going to get our aquatic glasses. So again, you have to uh, you can trade in 75 copper to get five silver right here, as you can see on his menu. Uh, they're a 15 a piece for the silver. You can trade in. 75 copper for, uh, for five of those uh, and then five silver for one gold and then trade the gold in for uh, the immaculate sack of swag treasures and once you collect that you'll open it up and you'll have your aquatic shades which you really what you do need for the next part of this quest which and that's where we're going to go now there's the aquatic shades it is a toy so you can equip it at any time um, and now we're just going to go and we're going to head to the next part of the quest. So uh, we're going to be uh, now you can also get coins from um, fishing treasure schools. And you can also get coins from the uh, Tuscaran um, treasure boxes. Uh, but you need a renown of level uh, 27 in order to open up those lock boxes for the Tuscaran. Boxes. So here we are. We're up here at the Obsidian Citadel, and there's like this little like pier that you had that you walk out onto right there. You see it right there, and it puts us right here at the water's edge, and you go down into the water to this place, the Bubble Bath. It's a bar underneath the water. So yes, so we'll head there, and you'll see like this little like 1970s looking dance floor right there. Uh, and uh, you just click on that and it will give you the debuff up there uh, for five minutes. You see it right here, uh, dance, dance till you're dead. You need to have that and make sure you have that and don't move off of that for five minutes. You have to let that time down and we'll just dance and dance for five minutes. It's really not that long. So, and you don't run out of breath. So you'll be all set for that. Now we'll just wait for us to time down like right now. And then you'll wake up at the hissing grotto as you see here 
and you will grab this empty fish barrel, which you will need. Now, the idea here is you have to fish to fill up the barrel. And so the first thing you're gonna fish is 100 frigid flow fish. 100, now it's not that bad. Um, I got it probably in, you know, within an hour, but I think the, and here we go, we're gonna, we have 100. And you click the barrel. Make sure you click the barrel when you get your 100. You need to click it to progress to the, you know, with the next uh, area. You definitely need to click your barrel, so please do so. And now we'll head over to the next area. We're right here on the map. I'll show you uh, the map. Um, you want to uh, fish in the lava. You need... Uh, here we are, we're right here. We're over by the Obsidian Citadel in the lava. And we're gonna look for uh, Calamorous Carp. You need 25 of these. This went really quick for me. And again, it all depends on the RNG because you, know, you can spend 20 minutes here or you can spend an hour here. I think the only thing that really is time consuming is when you get the Lunkers because you need to spend time wrestling with them. That takes up quite a bit of time, but otherwise, it's all based on RNG and um, how quickly you, that you grab these fish. And I got them pretty quick. So then you get your 25 and you click on your barrel once more. Make sure you click on the barrel because <laughs> that is essential. Because you don't want to go to the, uh, the next area and not have your barrel because you'll be fishing for nothing. So. And now we're going to head to the next area. The final fishing area. Uh, this is the last one that you have to catch. You're going to go catch um, Kingfin the Wise whisker fish here. Uh, and it's up here by Algathar Academy, right there in that area of the river right there. This one took me the longest. I think this took me close to an hour to get. And I kept on getting the lunker fish, and that was the main issue. Because uh, you have to spend time to wrestle them, and uh, that took me the longest, like an hour. I just got a copper coin of the Isles here. Uh, so then we grab a hold of our uh, our fish here, and that's the last part of the uh, of the fishing aspect of this uh, of this quest of the secret quest. Is so we have to fish up this uh, this epic kingfin, and then we'll be off to the last part of the year. There it is. And we will click on our barrel one last time. And then we're off back to where we picked up the barrel. So now you have to go back to the area of where you picked up the barrel the first time. So we're going to fly back there after we uh, fill our barrel. There you go. And now we have an overflowing fish barrel. So make sure you have that before you do go back to the... Uh, to the area that we started and we'll go there right now and here we are we're up here by the obsidian citadel right there just above that that little like pier that we started at and you want to put your overflowing barrel place it right there on the ground and it will attract your friend Otto, your brand new christmas mount if it's not christmas that's fine too but i'm just recording this on christmas day there he is Complete the quest, and you have yourself a new mount. Congratulations, Merry Christmas, <laughs> and I hope that you had great luck in getting this done very quickly. <laughs> and let us see our new mount. I think I'm gonna show the animation here for you. Uh, oh, and if you put the glasses on, he will also put on glasses. So there you go, watch this. So put out auto, have my glasses on. And now Otto has on shades as well. So that's a pretty cool aspect of this secret mount. So he's very nice looking. Very handsome little fellow. And now let's just do the animation. And we will end this video. And you can go and try out your new mount. Let's do it. <laughs> there it is. Alright everyone. Merry Christmas.